film, slightly different video today. This is basically just me practicing my kanji. I have about three friends learning Japanese, so I guess this is for you. Uh, <laughs> a short explanation for anyone not familiar with Japanese alphabets. There are three, this is the most complicated one. I find that the easiest way to remember kanji is to make a little picture in my head, sort of out of the shape, and then that helps me remember what that word means. Which is all well and good, but I don't practice it very often because it takes more time than just like using my Duolingo app. So I thought I'd do a little video, which A, forces me to actually practice and draw them out, but also if you're learning Japanese and you would like to learn some kanji, you can draw along with me. The kanji I'm looking at today is about the weather, so small talk in Japanese, that's what we're learning today. Okay, so first up I've got just the word for weather, which is tenki, and to illustrate this I'm drawing basically like a weather person, like someone presenting the weather on this board, and it's probably gonna rain or something so she's angry. Imagine that's what weather forecasts were like. Imagine if all bad weather, the host had to be like, oh, it's gonna rain. And now I'm just gonna practice drawing that kanji over and over. Play along if you too would like to learn some kanji. I will say that A, this is very messy kanji, and B, the stroke order is quite important when you're writing in Japanese. So like, which lines you do first. I do not know the correct stroke order for most of these symbols, so this is definitely not the perfect way to be writing, but this exercise is mostly to help me remember what the word looks like so I can read it when I see it rather than be able to write it perfectly. Please forgive me if you are Japanese. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. I really like this kanji. It's just rain, ame, but it's cool because it looks like rain falling out of like a little window. Like I'm looking outside and I'm like, ooh, don't wanna go out there, it's wet. So this one's easy to remember. The symbols that I'm doing underneath are hiragana, which is one of the other Japanese alphabets. But basically hiragana is the phonetic alphabet. So every one of those symbols has a specific sound and they sound the same no matter what the context, which is so much less complicated than English. It's cool. I am no expert in Japanese. By the way, I've just been casually trying to pick it up for like the last year and a half, two years? I guess this is like a fun introduction if you don't know anything about the language. This is Yuki, which means snow. So I've drawn some buildings, with like snow at the front, snow on the roof, snow everywhere. This is kumori, which means cloudy. So again, I've done it as like little buildings and I was thinking maybe they'd like pop the little umbrella up above the building because they're worried about that big cloud that's floating above and also a big puddle out the front. So it's rained before. Watch out for the clouds. You might have noticed how some of these symbols are quite similar and that's because they're all in the same topic. So like cloudy and snow both have the rain symbol inside because it's all like the same kind of concept. Right, this one's a bit of a stretch. This is kaze, which means wind, 
So I think it looks like a smug robot. So I've made it into a smug robot whose hair is blowing in the wind. That totally is connected. <laughs> This is Samui, which means cold. I like this one because I saw it on a Japanese person's Instagram story and was able to read it. This was like a year ago or more. I was just so excited that I could understand this person's Instagram story. Anyway, it means cold. So I've sort of constructed it into like a winter scarf. And then the E sound that follows it, I've made into like a little, like a shiver, like a woo. This kanji's not supposed to be this long, it just kept getting longer and longer the more that I drew it, but as long as I can recognise it, I feel like it's fine. And the last symbol, it's Atsui, which means hot. So I've drawn, I think this looks like a little figure, the top part with like a head and an arm sticking out, and then these got some sticks crossed over to try and make some fire because it's hot so it's like and it's propped up on like a little box and then the e that follows it i've made like as little sparks like tss, tss. now these little visuals that i've made up might not work for you they might not stick in your head some of them are definitely very loosely connected to the drawing that is on the page i find them useful yeah, I can only recommend physically writing kanji out to help you remember it because it helps me so much more and every kanji that I practice writing versus just trying to look at and memorise just stays in my brain so much better. I hope this video was helpful for you, even if literally <laughs> like three people watched it. I got some practice in making it, so that's something. Thank you for watching this strange new video. If you are learning Japanese, let me know how it's going for you. If you're learning anything else, tell me about it because I can feel like another language learning kick coming in. I've been going through <laughs> waves of lockdown interest and I think that Japanese is about to come back in a big way. So I'm all about that language learning hype right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.